For sense enjoyment, I have got this now body, Indian body, I have got this Australian or American or European body. But you have to change this body. Tatha dehantara prapti. We are eternal. Najayate nam riyati vakadachi. The soul does not take birth, neither it dies. We simply change body. Tatha dehantara prapti. Just like we are changing our body. Uh, in mother's womb, we had a small body. Uh, it grows and we come out. Again it grows. Growth, it is not actually growing, it is changing. The child is changing his body to baby, the baby is changing his body to boy, uh, and the boy is changing his body to youthhood. Then, in this way, you are changing birth. That you have got experience. You had a child's body, you remember. Or you had a boy's body, you remember. But the body is no longer existing. But you are existing. Therefore, the conclusion is that when this body will be no more fit for existing, we shall have to accept another body. This is called tatha dehantara prapti. So we have to change. That is nature's law. The soul is immortal. Najayati namriyate vakada chit. Mahannate hannamane sarire. The soul is not finished. Simply a particular type of body being finished. No. The people do not know it. <coughs> and because they are simply engaged in sinful activities, that brain has become so dull that they cannot understand the simple truth that as you are changing body in this life, therefore you will change this body to another life. This is very simple truth. But at the advancement of material civilization we have become so dull and rascal that we cannot understand. Uh, but India is still, although it is so fallen. You go to a remote village, a common man, he has no education, he believes. He believes. And here in the Western countries, I saw many, many big, big professors, they have no idea. Uh, I, I, I met one big professor, Kotovsky, in Moscow. He said, Swamiji, after finishing this body, everything is finished. You see, he is a big professor and in charge of a very big department, Indology. He has no idea. Uh, but this is not the fact. The fact is that we are all sparks, spiritual spark, part and parcel of God. Somehow or other, we have come into this material world for sense enjoyment. In the spiritual world, there is no sense enjoyment. There is uh, sense purification. Uh, in the material world, the senses are impure. They simply want to enjoy material things. So Krishna consciousness means that you have to purify your senses. That is the way. Sarvapādhi vinir muktam tat paratena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ruchyat. This bhakti means that we have to clear ourselves from the designation. 
What is that designation? Everyone is thinking, I am American, I am Indian, I am European, I am Australian, I am cat, I am dog, I am this, I am that, bodily. We have to cleanse this bodily conception of life, that I am not this body. Aang Brahmasmi, I am spirit soul. This you have to realize. Then there will be no distinction. And here is an American, here is an Australian, here is a Hindu, here is a Muslim, here is a tree, here. No. Pandita samadharsina. <coughs> Pandita means learned, one who knows things as they are. For them, vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini suniche cha sapake cha. Pandita samadharsina. A person very learned, vidya, and very gentle. Vidya means, educated means he is gentle, sober. He is not rogues and ruffian. That is vidya. That is the taste of education. He must be very educated, sober and silent. That is called gentleman in one word. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.